Hi everyone, this is Mary for Stamping Camp with Mary and Mary's Stamping Happenings and today is There's a Card Thursday. On to uh, another Christmas card, not that uh, I haven't already done all of my Christmas cards and there actually should be going out sometime this week, but um, I just wanted to do another one because I, I found the Winter Wood set and I just thought it was a really good one to use. So what we're going to be use, doing to make this one, we're going to be using Winter Woods in the way of ink, Memento Black. We're going to be using some um, Peacock, Pretty Peacock, uh, Knight of Navy, Garden Green and Old Olive. For cardstock, we're going to be using um, an eight and a half by five and a half piece of crushed curry. We're going to be using, um, well, I'm going to be cutting this down, uh, this very piece of very vanilla four by five and a quarter. And then we're going to be using another larger piece of very vanilla uh, scrap, or it doesn't have to be a full piece like this. Um, what else we're going to be using is we're going to be using a piece of um, old olive. We are, where's the, oh, we are of course going to be using glue dots and um, mini and regular dimensionals. We are going to be using the uh, Everyday Label Punch. Oh, you can't even, even see that, that one. We are going to be using, of course, the uh, Big Shot. We're going to be using Noble Peacock Rhinestones. We are going to be using some um, sponge daubers. We're going to be using the Big Shot. And we are going to be using In the Woods Framelits. And we're going to be using the, the uh, ones that cut out the tree and ones that cut out the evergreen branches. And I think that's about it. Okay, so the first thing I am going to do um, is, let me get another piece of paper because I've dirtied that. I'm going to take a, the full sheet of Very Vanilla and I'm going to start with Knight of Navy up on top and I am just going to sponge some blue Knight of Navy up on top. And the reason I want to start this, I didn't cut this down right away, um, is because sometimes it all depends upon how good it looks. <laughs> sometimes you want the to keep more of the blue, or sometimes you want to keep more of the green, or sometimes you want to cut off one side because you've got stuff like that. Um, so, and I am going to go, it's about two-thirds blue and one-third green. Okay. And now this kind of looks really dark, and I, I do want it a, a dark color. I want it a winter color blue, but I don't want it a night blue. So what I'm going to do is then I'm going to take my pretty peacock. I'm going to do the same thing over it so it gives it a little brighter. Now you could just use Pretty Peacock, but I think that's more of a color for the summer, not for the winter. Of course, you know, we're heading to Australia for winter or for Christmas, so maybe I should have just done it really bright blue because it's their summer down there. Okay, and then I'm 
going to use some old olive for the grass area. Should probably use just white, but since we're in Texas right now, there's actually still green grass down here. I'm just going to take my trimmer. Have you all got the new trimmer? You should get it. It's really neat. So I am going to cut this down to four inches and by five and a quarter. Okay. Take these away. Now what I am going to do is with the larger piece of scrap I am going to take the tree and I am going to um, do the old olive on the tree I'm going to stamp it like that. Then I'm going to take this little, can you see that? Let me get that down like that. What I'm going to do is I am going to just do two with old olive. And I'm going to do two with garden green. Now you can do any colors you want. You could do them all with old olive. You could do everything with garden green. I just want a little variety here. And garden green. And then what I am going to do is I am going to take these and grab my grab my uh, big shot or whatever cutting tool you have die cutting machine you have and I am going to go and cut these out. So just like this. And I like this set because it has three of these. So I can do numerous cuts at once. Okay. So I'm just going to go cut those out. Okay, after you cut them out, you get this. Gotta get these out. Okay, so what I am going to do is I am going to um, put this, put the background that we just made on the piece of crushed curry. Just going to um, take my glue dots and glue that down. Just like that. 
Then I am going to take my tree and I'm going to take I'm going to take my tree and I am going to take my large glue dots or not glue dots, Stampin' Dimensionals and I'm going to just put a few of them on there. Let's bring this up just a little so you can see it just as well. Now I'm going to put that up right on top of the green line just like that. And then I'm going to take my mini dot, my mini Stampin' Dimensionals because they work. I mean you can cut the big ones. You don't need these. I just have them and I love them. So Okay, and I'm just going to take some of those mini dimensionals and stick them on. There's a story behind my stamp and my mini dimensionals. Last spring, or was it last summer? I don't know. It was last summer, I think, when we were in Cheyenne and I had a friend invite me over, Kathy, and we were uh, doing a card and I knew I had the mini dimensionals because I had used them, but I couldn't find them at all. Uh, and about four months later, I, we used hers, but four months later I found them. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you where. They were right in plain sight as usual. Now I'm going to stamp the saying on the, well no, I'm going to cut this out because it needs to be precise because it just fits on the punch out. This would be a good one for the, using the Stampin' Stemperatus. There we go. And again, I'm just going to put some dimensionals, regular size dimensionals on here. And I'm going to put that right under there. Now I'm going to put the little you guys got all your Christmas cards out. This is amazing that I have all of mine out. <laughs> yeah, I know. But since we're going to be gone to Australia, I thought I'd get them out early instead of late. Okay, now I'm going to take the uh, Royal Pe Noble Peacock Rhinestones and I'm going to decorate that tree. So let me get pick a tool out. Pick a, pick a tool. And I'm just going to doesn't matter where they go. You can have them all one color. You could have clear rhinestones. You could make your own rhinestone coat. Eh, that one didn't have a... I didn't pick up the... But I like these colors. They're just so vibrant. Pretty Peacock, Blueberry Bliss, um, Gorgeous Grape. I can't think what if that's Petal Pink. So there you have it. Let me 
to bring that down so you can see it a bit better. There you go. So remember, you can follow me on YouTube, and everything you need is down below. I really would appreciate it if you would shop with me, if you like my videos. Um, I'm still trying to uh, uh, make this um, a business for myself, and uh, I'd like to be able to at least pay for all the supplies I use to make all this stuff. So please uh, think about uh, visiting down below and purchasing everything you need. Thanks for visiting and happy stamping. Bye-bye.